Okay, so I'm going to put this together now. So I'm going to first start off by um, putting the legs on. So they just screw into these sections here at the back. Quite nice little rubberized bits on the bottom of the feet so that will keep it stable uh, if it's on a slippery kind of surface. I have to say I'm a little bit surprised at how much of this is plastic. Now these legs, this part of the legs is plastic, the body is plastic, even this handle over here which it's a bit deceiving, a bit deceptive in photos because it's this um, brassy kind of colour. But this, the whole thing is plastic. Uh, the only thing I can see in here that is um, metal are the screws in the top. Everything else that I can see is, um, is plastic. I didn't notice this before. There's a little switch here on the side which is to change from tubular knitting which is the bottom setting or flat knitting which is the top setting so hmm. all right so i have got the legs in i i don't require these extra needles because it has all of the needles already in there but i will take out the yarn needle because there is a very nifty little spot for it to go right here a little holder so that your needle is available all of the time nice and handy whenever you need it and you don't put it down somewhere and forget where it is which is what happens to all of us isn't it uh, and then we have clamps uh, i'm going to have to work out where i'm going to use this i've seen people set these up in a few different ways some people set them up on a table so that there is a gap underneath so that your knitting which will come which will be created and come down this way uh, some people set them up on tables specifically that have a gap in the middle so that the knitting can continue on down um, but it doesn't say that you need to do that and certainly in one of the videos that I watched person said even if you're doing tubular knitting all you do is just kind of roll the knitting up into itself so that it's not sitting on the table because if it's sitting on the table it's going to start going around and around and around as you are knitting uh, simply because of the action of the machine you know if I'm, if I'm doing this all of the knitting is moving around so yeah, I'm guessing you would end up with uh, with it all twisted and twirling around and around on the table if you just had your knitting coming down and sitting here on the table underneath the machine. So I'm just um, undoing the clamp here. I've already got one clamp undone that you can see just there. And I'm just getting the other one out of the packaging. So the clamps are quite long. I'm just wondering whether this is long enough for me to clamp to my bench here. And it might, it might, it might just work. So this part of the clamp goes around the foot, around the foot on the, on the Addy machine. So let me see if I can make that fit. Not quite. Can I do this just a tiny little bit? So, and now it fits. Cool. Okay. So I'm just going to do up that clamp. Okay. So here is the uh, the Addy machine set up. You can see it earlier. That's the row counter with the dial to change it. This is the lever for changing from doing uh, circular knitting to 
uh, flat knitting and here it is I have um, clamped the machine to my kitchen bench so that I can start having a go at using it. I may actually change that to the other legs so that the handle is not on this side. I may turn it around a little bit so that the handle is over on the right hand side there. Um, I'm right handed so that's what's going to suit me best. Also it will mean that the yarn feed and the um, the first hooks which is directly opposite the yarn feed will be over here so that will be more manageable for handling the yarn I think so here it is set up on my kitchen bench ready to be used 